Residents of the Maruga community can expect several developmental projects in the area in the near future, including a million-dollar agro-processing and light industrial plant. MP for the area, Dr. Lovell Francis, was among several of his cabinet colleagues who hosted a public meeting in the constituency on Wednesday night, where he called for greater attention to be given to rural communities in discussions relating to development. Janine Brown reports. Member for Maruga Tableland, Dr. Lovell Francis, who grew up in Maruga himself, said that the area is arguably the most underdeveloped in Trinidad, as he stressed the importance of developing rural communities. If development only happens in Port of Spain, if development only happens in San Fernando, if development just stretches across the east-west corridor, do you, can you or can we confidently say as a nation that we are developing you know, in, a, in an egalitarian way? We can't. Development must be spread. It must go as far as it can to every corner to every nook and every cranny. And the plans to do so are already in place. Government is moving ahead with its plan to construct a $70 million agro-processing and light industrial plant in Maruga. Minister of Trade and Industry, Paul Gopi Spoon, says the project should be completed within 26 months. The park is going to be built on 18.83 acres of state land in Saunders Trees, and initially, in addition to lots which will be available, there will be five basic factory shells to, to, to kick off and jumpstart the project as well. It's an investment, the entire project, of about $70 million, and it's all towards the further development of Maruga. Each facility will vary in size, but all will be equipped with the recommended infrastructure. And the government has several other plans up its sleeves for developmental projects in the area. And I could talk about the sporting complex that Minister of Sport will be building in Fifth Company. I could also talk about the fact that I'll be turning us out with the Minister of Housing either this weekend or next weekend. We're going to build 100 houses in St. Mary's in Gomez Trace. And I could go on and on and on ad infinitum. Dr. Francis said he is confident in the ability of the people of Maruga to add to Trinidad and Tobago's developmental goals. Janine Brown, C News.